I want to see if it sounds like a rotary. Whoa, it's touching. <laughs> 16 paranoia filled days later. Why well, won't it stop? You're not gels. No, I am not gels. That's because Jells got married, so we got freaking Sean in here. We got a special edition of reviewing your car, Sean. Honda's! Oh, okay. V Tech! Yeah. Yeah! And various V Techs through various years. So if you haven't added your car to the gallery, make sure to add it at fitministries.com forward slash add. Takes a couple seconds, put in some dope photos so we can either review your car on the YouTube. Maybe it gets posted on Instagram, mm. or you could help millions of enthusiasts find their fitment so they can get a good set of wheels without it looking all wonky. Lots of ways to win. What? <laughs> wheels, tires, and suspension at fitministries.com. Whoa, no. that was such a, like oh. a, I felt the, like the shockwave go like through to your back. Yeah, yeah. that was chair. insane. Yeah. I wish that we had hyper slow-mo of that. That was scary. Okay, let's get into this. Let's start reviewing this. What do we got? We got the first car of the day. Start the timer. We're going to try a minute and a half for reviewing each car and see if that's a good dirt. Oh, we're already counting. All right. So we have a 2011 oh, Honda yeah. Civic Si on some Gram lights. The 57 DRs to be exact. 17 by 9 plus 22 all around. On some Toyo tires, we have the Proxus T1 Sports 23540 on D2 Racing Coilovers. Proxus. All right. This thing is sick looking. This is at super short bus. Wow. Blue Honda Civic Si. So I love Honda Civic Ugh. Si's. I, I don't uh, even usually my like My fiance this generation. has one. What is this? Not this generation though. Tenth but I, gen, right? yeah. I, I do like this generation. Yeah, Maya has the 10th gen. Dude, these Gram lights look so just, damn good on there. They fit perfect. Wait, I just realized this dude on coiler, this thing pretty low. It's pretty, very pretty low. low. You can tell by the fender. You can tell by the way it is. Always room to go more low though. Am I right or am I right? You're not always right. I'm always right. Okay. So what do you think of this car? Tell, tell me about it. Tell me I about think it's it. sick. I usually don't like this generation, but I really like the functional setup on it. Sure. It just looks really good. Yeah, it negative looks two degrees all around. Uh, battle stance full bolt on. Boogan! Our RJDM rear and front. And I think that's what really brings it all together. Yeah, this it thing just looks, looks like, a, like a nice, slightly above average functional for an economy car. Yeah, which I, I think, think it's cool. The Gramlite 57 DRs were a fantastic choice. If you have a Civic Si that's this generation, get those wheels because mm. they look baller. Yeah. Ready to rate it? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think so. Three, two, one, nine. nine. Oh, Damn. See, I thought I was going to be going too high. I didn't think you no, were going to No, dude, I, I truly am a sucker for these Civic Si's. They look good. All right, let's get into the next car. What do we got? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> daddy. Literally, because we have a 2008 yeah. Honda Odyssey. <laughs> Mate, you gotta, you gotta play oh, the timer. Yep. See? Do we gotta wait for it to... EX-L. Uh, I have no idea what that means. I don't either. Um, on some TSW Veil, 20 by 10s. Oh, we got the 20s, baby. We got the 20s on the Odyssey. Big ballin'. 20 by 10 plus 40 on Delente D7 Thunder. 245, 35. Ooh, on oh, airlift, performance boy. air suspension. Oh, this is so JDZ Achar. JDZ Achar, all right, the fronts are rolled and pulled. Generally, when you're putting a car on air, you're gonna yeah. uh -huh. make sure your fenders are rolled and pulled. Uh, rears are pulled, so that way they come out a little farther, give you even a little more room yet. Camber uh, Oh, and they're shaved. We got camber bolts and arms. Th this thing was just it's, made to go low. Yeah, oh yeah. And that's Purpose it. Built. It is low. Good fitment. Those wheels look good on there. Mm. The only thing I wish, I wish there was a few more photos for this one. Right? Yeah, that's, that's my bad. Yeah, come on. But I just look at it though. It, like, it is gorgeous. Oh, it looks good. The fitment is like perfect. I've, I love that it's kind of stock looking. It's just, you take a thing that's not supposed to be slammed and have 20s and you slam it and put 20s on it. I think it, it's supposed to be slammed and have 20s. At some point in my life, I'll probably slam a van. I don't really want to own a van, but if I do somehow end up with one, I promise, mark my words here, somebody clip this. I'm slamming it and I'm putting it on air and it's going to be dope. Static only. Yeah, it looks nice and clean. Yeah. Looks like a lot of chrome was deleted, I'm assuming, because it's just grill. blacked out and red looks Honda. really good. Got the red Honda logo. No mustard. What? You should always talk about mustard with the red Honda badges because all Hondas are yellow, except for this one. Oh, yeah. If you have yellow, and don't put red things on your car because otherwise it's ketchup mustard you and you look like Ronald leave. McDonald. Let's rate it on the van scale. 
three, two, one, eight. eight. What the hell? Why? I don't know. I was just thinking, like, I really like Bronson. He works here. Mm -hmm. His van, and I think I like that slightly more than this one. However, this one's still good. <sighs> yeah, that one does this have a little bit more jingling flair. All right, let's keep rolling on the Honda train. My little EK hatches. Yeah, so we have a 1997 oh. Honda Civic EX it's on white. Rota grids, oh. 16 by 8 plus 20 BF Goodrich G-Force tires, 225-45 all around on some Tain coilovers. Uh, this is unknown EK, or X, Turok. sorry. The hit um, M64 video game. Turok. This Honda Civic, I used to play that. This Honda Civic front wheel drive is running road grid. Oh yeah, we know that all. Oh, okay. Yeah, we said that. No rubbing or scrubbing. These fenders rolled, it said. You know, you just don't see when these Civics. you have Civics. a fat tire, you probably should roll the fenders. God, it's so good. It's so clean. There's something about a white Ooh. EK that's just clean and has Oh, the interior? A thick tire that just makes me not even want to mess with Got something the like that. Sparco quick release? Is that... Is that an S2000 gauge cluster? Yeah. Cool. What the hell? Is that a cage too? Yeah, that is the coolest that. thing ever. What? I, I love that. that. That is so dang cool. Oh, I can't click the thing. There we go. Click. Yeah, these, mm. it's got some meats. So uh, I'm assuming it's making some decent power. This it's thing got looks Evo good. in the background and the S550 Mustang. Recaro seats, looking nice and flashy. Yeah, I yeah, probably wouldn't good. line up next to this thing. Just kidding, I would. I totally would, even if I knew I was going to lose, because like, it's always fun to see these things absolutely rip. And it's a sleeper from the outside. You know, just getting the rotas. Got some meaty tires, real subtle. I get what you're getting out with the sleeper thing, but I just feel like that looks like it's fast, even though it looks mostly stock. To you. Stock. It's, it's to the you, weirdest. My brain, you know. I don't know how to fix. I can't. You didn't start the timer, yeah. I didn't start so, the timer. Let's just rate this puppy. Oh God. I love the mm -hmm. S2K gauge cluster. That is super cool. The Sparco quick release looks nice. The we got some cage. suspension components oh. underneath that look good. Yeah, this thing's really nice. Um, mm. I think I'd like to see some other wheels besides the Rotas on it, oh, to be honest with you, but. Classic. Three, two, one, nine. Nine and a half. Ooh, wow, that Sean I loves love that car. I love so it. far, it's Sean's favorite car of the day. Why EK? You All right, are we it. running on Hondas? No, they go forever. What the f is this? All right, we have a 2007 Honda Element S see on some rotiform cvt's 20s again just the number of the day by eight and a half plus 45 all around boys. on some hankook ventus v12 evo 2s 24540 on d2 racing air suspension um this is it's aaron ruth aaron ruth it's his weird car <laughs> So the front fenders are rolled and pulled with fender liners removed. Two and a half inches has been cut out of the body in the rear inner fenders to clear the tires when aired out. Negative one degrees of camber on all corners when aired up. True heart rear camber kit and D2 racing front camber kit. Minor Gibson exhaust. You don't see uh, these modified, brother. I love it. Do you? It's so awkward that it's cool. Do you want me to be real? I love yellow fogs. Look at the factory hey. wide body that you would never notice unless it was slammed. I hate this car. You hate it? But I love how he modified it, and I think this is dope. Yeah, I never like would have thought to modify one of these cars, but I think it really looks good. And honestly, the the 20s look yeah. pretty good on here. Like, I don't think I would ever buy this and do this. No, ever. probably not. Probably but not. I appreciate that it exists so much. If it was at a car show, I'd walk over and yeah, take a peek. Yeah, 100%. Added. Rotiform CVTs are just these big blocky wheels that I feel like go perfectly with it's this big so blocky neat. car. If you'd have told me you were doing that, I would have been like, I. Why do they call it the Honda Element? What do they call it, SC? No, Element. I don't know. Do you, do you know? No. I don't know. Earth, wind, fire. That's what it took to make this. Overall, pretty <laughs> solid, unique, super weird. Ready to rate this? You gotta be. All right, three, two, one, nine. seven and a half. <laughs> nine, <laughs> nine, the, dude, it's, look at you it. You can't rate everything a it's nine, good. Sean. They're still weird, I appreciate it. Again, 
I personally would never buy one of these. But I wish it was faster, but it it looks. If we didn't have unique uh, cars and variety in the car scene, the car scene wouldn't be the car exactly. scene. So and I, I enjoy it and respect it for that me. respect. Oh, okay. All right. The now, last one. switching over a little bit, we have a 1991 Honda NSX. This is RB's. Well, he's actually local to Wisconsin. Yeah. We've done a couple of videos mm -hmm. on this car. So let's give it a good old rate ski on reviewing your cars on some Rotiform SJCs in the Rotiforms. front. It's 18 by 9 plus 17. Aggressive offset. In the rear, we have 19 by 10 and a half plus 15. That's crazy. A more aggressive and a half offset. On the back of any Honda, even if it is a supercar. On this setup, it has Nanking NS20s uh, in the front, 215.30. So we have a little bit of a stretch going on. And then the rear, a little bit more meat, 255.30s on airlift performance, air suspension. Uh, stock camber arms, right height camber is about negative two degrees. Aired out. It's negative five. Sorry. Alrighty, this thing, we both got to see it in person. Ugh. The pictures honestly don't even do it justice. They're fantastic say, photos, just, yeah. but like this car, I remember when it drove up here and we were just it's like. It's so good. Like even ah, the paint damn. Is, like, you can't you can't really tell here, but like yes. in person, it's just like. Another cool thing about this car um, is RB drives it fucking everywhere. Everywhere. All the time, all day long. In the winter, he'll fucking strap his snowboard to the top of it. And I appreciate the hell out of that. The rotiforms on here look amazing. I love the wing. I just love everything that he did with this car. Yeah. It looks so damn good. And it's not too out of period while still being like relevant in today's car culture. Yeah, 100%. Fun fact too, is also in Travis Scott's music video. <laughs> yeah. At Michael That's Jordan's so house. That's crazy to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember we all got around the computer like, whoa! Like it was like right <laughs> after we brought it up to have Alex drive it and review it. This is just amazing. The fitment is spot on. The mods were all fantastic and look great. I love to see an NSX on the ground. Taillights, amazing. Ugh, I'm, I'm ready to rate it. Yeah, me too. You got anything to say? Mm, that is, I love it. It's perfect. Three, two, one ten. 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 It's perfect. Wow. You can't. It's, You're not uh, even like much of a stance guy. I'm not. I'm not really a Honda guy either. But that is yeah. NSX. Just amazing cars. Timeless. I love them. VTEC mid-engine pop-up headlights. But what do you guys think? Comment down below. Do you want to see more videos like this where we review a certain make? This was Honda edition. I think it went pretty well. I had a good time. Uh, but don't forget wheels, tires, suspension at fitministries.com. Get your car added to the gallery. That way we can review your car in one of these episodes. But comment down below what was your favorite car of the day. I'm going to read every single one because I want to see what you guys like and I love filming these videos. Sean, thanks for coming on and reviewing some cars with me. We'll talk to you guys later. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Make the computer say more funny stuff. <laughs>